it's when you mess with overlay stuff i like to use the composite panel because instead of just doing like opacity down which you can do but you kind of lose a lot of the detail and you know what's there for the video you can go through and shoot select different uh options so yeah you know multiply overlay pin light and you just see what the effect looks like and what it's doing to your video uh, i did the same thing with the subtle scratches if you look you can kind of see like here in the corner and you'll see this all over the video like scratches and dust will like pop up on the screen but you're gonna when you use this you're gonna have to either put your opacity on or use one of the overlay settings because it's a black screen that has this dust effect happening so you can't see the the layer underneath so you could do opacity but i didn't want to do that because you lose now i see the screen now but now you're, you're not you don't really see the scratches so to keep the scratches then know that detail there and be able to see what you what you got underneath you can just basically do um you can basically just pick one of the one of these options and each one so like it'll affect it in some kind of different way so you got to like choose what you want and that's why for me in this situation screen worked out i love, I love this part the beat starts ramping up so i'm going i'm going ham at this point just like he's going i'm cutting it's the same it's, it's different parts of the film burn but i'm doing different overlays like this one's pin light luminosity this one is add this one is hard mix this one is hard light so if this video should show you anything go in and experiment you know that you have things that do certain things like i know that i've messed around with compositing before i haven't necessarily used compositing in this way before but i know what the what the composite tool can do so you just play with it experiment we're editors if we're not out here playing around and you know practicing and experimenting what are we doing i didn't take that out the box and just put it on like because i didn't say like oh this is what it looks like so i'm just going to go with the regular normal normal look and now let me pull the opacity down and then just do that, which would have been fine. But I wanted to really like mess around with it. I love that. Like, that looks like some mixed media type art stuff going on there. If you found this video useful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for even more DaVinci Resolve related content like this. Until next time, peace.